I want to welcome you once again to uh, our next topic, which is on personal capacity development and effectiveness through growth plan. Personal capacity development and effectiveness through growth plan. So you will see that in this module, all that we are concerned about is how to be a better leader becoming a growth-oriented leader. That is our emphasis on this in this module. So I'm going to start by asking this question. And as I'm asking that question, I want you to quietly ask yourself the same question. What is the most important plan in a man's life. If there is a plan that you need to make that will totally transform everything about you, about your life, about your leadership, about your organization, what will that plan be? So I want you to begin to think about that and you will soon know what that plan is. Now, there are two personal questions to ask yourself to verify how you are doing with your growth plan as a leader. And of course, you know that the answer to the question you have asked, uh, according to what we are treating now, is your growth plan. That is the most important uh, plan in a man's life, your growth plan. That is your most important plan. Now, realizing that your growth plan is the most important plan in your life, uh, there are two questions you need to ask yourself to verify how you are doing with your growth plan. What are you doing to grow yourself? And I believe this, this is dealing with the question uh, my brother asked earlier on, you know, it's, it's like you are already looking into our next uh, topic. What are you doing to grow yourself? Because it's very critical. And what are you doing to grow others around you? These are the two critical questions that contribute to the greatest plan in a man's life. Personal growth plan, I would say, is what enhances your personal capacity and organizational sustainability. Your personal growth plan is what enhances your personal capacity and your organizational sustainability. Without growth plan, you cannot increase your capacity and you cannot improve the continuous survival of your organization. For your organization to be sustainable, everybody within the organization needs to be growing. Now I'm going to I'm going to contrast our growth plan with a metaphor, and I call this session the metaphor of a house. And I say that your growth plan is likened to the metaphor of a house. Because we are all like a house in the process of being built. And of course, you know that the very key to the success of any building is intelligent planning. When you want to build a house, apart from buying the land where you are going to build, the first thing you must do to build that house is what? To do your architectural design. You must have a plan for the house. Without that plan for the house, there is no government all over this world that will grant approval for any building without a building plan. It is so amazing to see a lot of young ones wanting to build their future today without a plan. It is so amazing to see a lot of people 
trying to build a future without a plan. So you need an intelligent planning for you to build the future you have been anticipating. So what do you need to build a successful house? Just like we said before, you need a blueprint. And what is a blueprint? A plan is either a plan, a design, a draft, an outline, a sketch, a game plan, or a strategy. That is what a blueprint is. Now to make it more understandable, a blueprint is a detailed plan or program of actions. Is a detailed plan or program of actions. So you need to give your life a meaning by giving it a detailed plan. I don't want you to live your life to chances. I like you to make sure that every event in your life is adequately planned for. So you need a blueprint to grow as a leader. So what do you need to enhance your plan? When you want to have a blueprint, what do you need to make it become credible? What do you need to enhance your plan? Number one, you need a robust information. In the metaphor of, a, of the house, according to the Bible, the Bible says it takes knowledge to furnish its rooms with fine furniture and beautiful draperies. So you need information. You need to, to grow your information base uh, if you must enhance your plan as a builder. The second thing that you need to enhance your plan is that you need information. Another thing you need to enhance your plan is that you need to be wise. You need wise planning. You need to be able to lay out your plan intelligently to be able to enhance or to be able to fortify your plan. It is better to be wise than to be strong because intelligence will always outrank muscles any day, any time. Another thing you need to do to enhance your plan is that I don't want you to rely on your physical strength to accomplish your dream. Instead, pay attention to your natural aptitude and your learned skill. Pay attention to your natural aptitude and your learned skill. Another thing you need to enhance your plan is that you need to understand that the wealthiest people in this world are not those who depend on their physical strength alone, but on those who engage in their thinking capability. So you need to improve on your thinking ability to be able to enhance your plan. Rich people are not rich because they have a lot of money. It is because they are able to think. They are able to utilize their thinking capability. Another thing you need to do to enhance your plan is that the most powerful countries are not the ones with the highest numbers of foot soldiers but the countries who engages the smartest strategies in deploying their military might. So if you want to uh, if you want to enhance your plan, you need to act like the countries that knows how to deploy their military might through their smart strategies, through their uh, military intelligence. If you have 1 million soldiers and there are no military intelligence, even a country with 10,000 soldiers can wipe all, all the 1 million soldiers away 
because they have more intelligence and smart strategies to be able to deploy their military might. So everything is not about uh, using strength and energy and uh, working more hours to be able to get things done. All you need to do is to engage your thinking capability to be able to get more done with little uh, resources and efforts. So what are my best advice for you? Here are my personal best advice for you as you engage in your, uh, in your growth plan. Number one, you should never do a solo run. You should never do a solo run. Don't do things all by yourself or for yourself. Never do a solo run. Don't do things by yourself or for yourself. Another advice that I have for you is that for you to be wise, you need to seek counsel. Because in the multitude of counselors or in the multitude of counsels, there is safety. Don't embark on an idea without seeking counsels from people who have been there before. You need to seek counsel before you go into any venture. Another advice that I have for you is that you need to take counsel and ask questions from those who are more intelligent and successful and more experienced than you have been before you embark on any assignment. Another advice that I have for you is that you need to seek for different people to mentor you in different areas of your life. You need to seek for mentors in the area of your finance. You need to seek for mentors in the area of your career. You need to seek for mentors in the area of your family life. You need to seek for mentor in the area of your health. You need to seek for mentor in the area of your physical fitness. You need to have different men. Don't have one mentor doing everything for you. It is There is no one single man that knows everything. So you need people who have been properly schooled in each department of your life. Another advice which is my best advice for you, is that you need to read widely, but most importantly, strategically. You see, this is coming over, all, it's coming out all over again. You need to read widely, but most importantly, you need to read strategically. You need to read books that gives you the highest return on your area of competence, calling, and vocation. You see, there is no way you can run away from books. But eventually, you are here. You don't like reading books. You better go and cultivate that habit now. Because there is no way, quote me anywhere, there is no way you will be great in life if you don't know how to read books. In fact, if I can see your library, I can predict your future. If I know how your life, if you can show me your library, then I can predict how your future is going to look like. So you need to read widely, and most importantly, you need to read strategically. So why do you, why do today really matter in your life? I'd like you to know that as I am talking to you, this very moment that I am talking to you is very, very important. And why does today, why is it very important? What do we need to do today that will make us to take advantage of the precious moment that we have? Why do today really matter in your life? Because today, do matter in your life. Now, today really matters because the secret of your success 
is hidden in your daily agenda. The secret of your success is hidden in your daily agenda. Now, it's very easy for me to know what will happen to you in the next five years or the next ten years. All I just need to do is for me to understand what you do every day. When you wake up in the morning, all the activities you do throughout the day, the following day, all the activities you do the following day, and all the activities you are doing. If, if I can monitor your activities every day, then I can predict your future. Because you are what you repeatedly do. So if you have the habit of always watching film, of always uh, browsing on the YouTube, just watching nonsense, then I can predict what the future will look like for you. But if you are such a man who spent time reflecting, spent time reading books, spent time reading strategically, then I can predict what the future is for you. Why do today really matters in your life? Today really matters because today is the only time you have control over because yesterday is gone forever. You cannot retrieve it. Tomorrow is 100% unpredictable. So today is the only time, is the only opportunity you have to do something worthwhile with your life. So why do today really matters in your life? Today really matters because you need to prioritize what is truly important in your life and you need to do it today and give it your 100% energy. Prioritize what is important in your life today and give it your 100% energy. So, these here are the reflective questions that I, that I want to leave you with. I'd like you to begin to reflect on this question as we are about to round off uh, today's lesson. What is your agenda today? What do you have for today? What is your plan for today? Don't wake up any day without asking yourself, what is my agenda today? And another question I would like you to reflect upon, which is like the first one, is what is your agenda every day? Number one, what is your agenda today? And what is your agenda every day? Now to conclude, I'd like to reassure you, I'd like to uh, say with confidence that if you will do these things that we have just spoke about today, that in no time, I can promise you that you will lead one of the most effective life in human history. I can assure you that if you will take time to do all that we have said today. God bless you. Thank you very much.